I'm out with the brand new Sigma 500mm 5.6 climbing the hilltops of California. Every bird that I find here is always so hard to get close up to. So that 500mm reach will come in handy and coming in at only 1,300 grams, this lightweight lens will make it easy to climb these challenging hills. That's a new one for me. California Thrasher. Never gotten a good shot of this guy. I've only seen him, I think, twice ever. And so, let's see if we can get this. I think to get the shot that I want, I need to get a little bit lower to get some of those nice colored marsh reeds in the background. It's gonna be tricky. Thrasher was right in that bush right over there. And uh, he dove down. And so I'm gonna wait around here a little bit and see if he pops right back up. Whew. That was a really cool moment that I just got to have with that California Thrasher. Never gotten photos like that before. I'm really thankful, honestly, for the Sigma 500mm 5.6 Prime right now. I think that the lightweightness of this lens really allowed me to be adaptable and moving and adjusting to be able to shoot that California Thrasher well, not having to move a whole tripod setup while it's still being light enough to hand hold and do it relatively stable. And honestly, I've already taken out this lens some and the sharpness has been incredibly impressive. I 
was uh, kind of shocked by it because I thought that initially, because it's a more affordable Super Telephoto Prime, it was not gonna be super sharp. Kind of have to sacrifice a little bit of that and have some softness, but it's been great. So I'm really excited to see how these photos turn out. And the shots that I just took and many more from today, I'm gonna be sharing up so that way you can download them as full resolution, high res files and be able to inspect the sharpness quality yourself. You can do so by signing up to my brand new newsletter I just launched linked in the description below called The Wilder Leaflet. It's a place where you can get all the latest news in wildlife photography and get exclusive gear discounts for you to be able to purchase. Keep watching that Marshawn take um, some of the cattail fuzz off and then bring it back to his little nest. One of my favorite parts about Pinochi is these rolling green hills are just beautiful all the time, but it definitely comes with some challenges, including hiking. And I think this is where the Sigma 500 millimeter 5.6 really shows a lot of its capabilities being such a lightweight lens at this type of a focal length. But it's definitely not the only thing that is showing its capabilities when it comes to hiking and carrying gear. I used to go on hikes like this all the time, holding my camera in my hands everywhere I went. But let me tell you, having a cotton carrier like this to be able to quickly throw my camera onto it is a game changer for making me more mobile when out on hikes. I've never liked using camera straps in the past because of always getting in the way when I'm trying to take a photograph. But because of cotton carrier's intuitive design, the only thing on here is this mounting thread throw it right onto the cotton carrier. No more tangled messes or restrictive straps. Genuinely, this is the only carrying device I like using anymore and I love it. If you guys are interested in getting it for yourself, go ahead and check out my link in the description below and you'll receive an automatic 15% applied during checkout. Just over the next hill, I spotted a Western Meadowlark. I went high key with it and got an image, but nothing fantastic. As the sun was rising later into the day, it was becoming more and more apparent that my only good encounter of the day would be that California Thrasher earlier this morning. I ran across a field of ladybugs, literally thousands of them hidden deep in the wet grass. And as an amateur macro photographer, I did my best at a photograph. On my way out, I got excited running across a greater roadrunner but before I could even get a photograph, he was gone and ran off into the hills. They make it look so dang easy. I wasn't done with this lens yet. The next morning, I took it out to a local pond and started off with some shots of fog rolling off the water. Wasn't great, but it was a start. And the real reason why I came here was to wait on some double-crested cormorants, the dragons of these ponds that frequent here in the winters. Sunrises in this little valley are always incredible. And as I made my way over, I ran across a pair of killdeer, making a ruckus as they always do. I set up by the water's edge, and sure enough, cormorant were flying in. Because they are so skittish, they landed far out. But knowing where they liked to hang out, I knew that they would swim closer to me if I gave them time and waited patiently on them. As they started to make their way over, the fog layer hovering over the water made for some interesting shots in the cold morning air. 
I worked to try and capture them as they flew around and came in for landings. And eventually, I got one that I liked with its wings spread upon approach. As the sun was beginning to rise, the fog layer slowly started to dissipate, and I captured it in stages as it progressed from foggy to clear. Now, it was time to capture a dragon spreading its wings above the water and giving a pose that they are so iconic for. As more and more cormorants came into the pond, they continued to get closer and closer to me until finally, I was able to capture a photograph that I liked. No photography day is ever going to be perfect, but ultimately, my memories hiking Pinochi and out with the dragons of the pond will forever be ingrained in my memory. And that's what getting out is all about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'd be honored if you subscribed below. And if you want to check out my full in detail review of the Sigma 500mm 5.6, check out this video here in the end screen.